Let's look at number 10 on the Foundations of Reading exam. I'll read it over first, and then we'll talk through the concepts in the activity in the scenario. Let's read it over first. Let's go. Number 10, a beginner level English language learner can consistently blend individual phonemes to make simple English words composed of two or three phonemes, but is having difficulty blending the sounds of familiar single syllable words composed of four phonemes. For example, clip, trap, spin. Which of the following questions would be most important for the first grade teacher to consider when addressing the needs of this student? We have some options here. Now, before I get to the options, let's think about this scenario. We have an entering level English language learner, and they're just starting off building their receptive and expressive language and hearing all those phoneme phonemes in the English language. It says here that they're able to blend simple words made up of two or three phonemes. So let's write down some of those examples. Basic words made up of two or three phonemes like cat or bat or sat. Now here we have CVC words that are very basic. Each letter, each grapheme matches up with its own sound or phoneme. In cat, we have three letters that match it with three phonemes. We call these CVC words. So the student is having success with these types of words. But now they're having difficulty with other words with four phonemes, like clip. Now what is different about clip? Well, clip has a blend. In fact, all these words here have blends. The cl, the tr, the sp. Now this is a little harder and needs to be explicitly taught because these are two sounds being said very fast. Clip, cl is made up of a k and a little combined. So they're being said very fast, they're being blended together very quickly. And for an, a new English language learner, those sounds, those, those blended sounds might not be in language one. This would be something that we'd wanna make sure that we clarify first before we assess the student. We'd wanna make sure that they're aware of these new sound patterns before assessing them in an activity. So now let's go back to the question, it says, which of the following questions would be most important for the first grade teacher to consider when addressing the needs of the student? A, are the target words in the student's oral vocabulary in English? B, does the student's primary language have constant blends? C, can the student distinguish between short and long vowel sounds in English? D, does the target words have cognates in the student's primary language? There's a lot going on here. Let's start with B first. Now, B, B is the answer, but let's look at it a little closer. Does the student's primary language, language one, have these constant blends? Does it have this, these specific sounds in language one? Because if it doesn't, then it would make absolute sense that the student is struggling with it. Does that make sense? If, this doesn't, if the student doesn't have these constant blends, these sounds, the cl, the tr, the sp, then it makes sense that if these sounds are missing in language one, the student's gonna have a hard time applying them in language two. If we know that there are gaps in sounds from language one to language two, we can clarify those gaps and, and teach those sounds that will help that student pronounce words in language two that are made up of sounds unfamiliar to them. Let's look at A. It talks about the target words here, like clip, trap, spin, not being the student's oral vocabulary. Well, here's the thing with A. It says here that the student is consistently having difficulty pronouncing these words. So they haven't mastered these words yet, so they're not quite in their oral language. They might partially be there, but they're still struggling with it. So it's, it's not that they haven't been exposed to it. They've been exposed to it, but they still aren't getting the correct pronunciation of the words because they haven't mastered the constant blends yet. Is it C? Can the student distinguish between Short and long vowel sounds. Well, all these words right here are all short vowel sound. And they're talking about basic words. Words like clip, trap, spin, they're all basic short vowel sounds. So right now we're not dealing with any words in the case study that have to do with long vowel. So for that reason, we could cross that out. How about D? Do the target words have cognates? Let me circle that, cognates. Now what is a cognate? Well, cognate is a word that exists in language one and language two and has a similar structure and the same meaning. For example, in language one, let's say we, we had a word like family and in language two, we had familia. Now family and familia are considered cognates. These are words in language one, English, 
that correspond with words in language to Spanish. They're words that have the same meaning in both languages. They're words that come from the same base word. And cognates are very easy to transfer. So if you're learning, if you know the word family in language one, then it's going to be, you're going to be able to acquire familia in language two a lot faster. Same thing if you, if you know familia in language one and you're learning English as a second language, family is going to be a cognate that you're going to be able to grasp a lot quicker because you already know it's, it's familiar form in language one. These are good, this is a good example of a true cognate. In this case right here, none of the words that we're working with or the scenario have to do with cognates, so we could cross it out. So for this student right here, it's very appropriate to clarify explicitly English consonant blends. This would be the next step for that entering level student in their oral language development. It's a great problem. Let's continue. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.